Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. We're just going to jump in and see what's going on here with you today. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. I'm going to start out with an opening oracle message first here. A few, a few uh, messages here first. And we'll get to the tarot. Right. The first one is when you find something that excites you, go all in and enjoy the ride. You're too amazing to follow everyone else. Forge your own path. Guilt is a normal feeling. Just breathe in and let go. All right, Sagittarius. So it looks like you, that's exactly what is going on here with you. So you are understanding that there's, you know, you're allowed to be happy. You're allowed to feel passion. You know, you're allowed to go, you know, change, you know, do some things here for yourself and create changes, even if there is some guilt involved. Um, you know, even if there are some opinions involved, you're basically knowing that you are meant to be doing what's meant for you, going your, paving your own way, paving your own path in a sense here and um allowing yourself to kind of let go of any kind of toxic negative feelings you know from beforehand here so you're making those necessary changes and just actually enjoying your life and this new beginning that you're embarking on here this new journey here okay let's see here with the tarot All right. So yeah, there's a lot of good things happening here and positive changes, you know, moving forward, you know, there's a lot of shifts happening here with, you know, you and congratulations if you just got married or it's your own marriage or relationship and commitments that you are involved in. There's something here where there's a lot of love and happiness and you feeling really fulfilled in life. Okay. And because of this, um, you know, there's someone here that's stressing out and losing sleep and not being able to kind of think rationally here in the situation. here that you know this is where um this person is choosing to not create opportunities for themselves and grow and change and so maybe some of you had to walk away from them divorce them deal with them in legal ways legal matters um or just create that balance here with yourself and this is where they get aggressive irritated annoyed they're not truly happy with what it is that they do with their own career path um you know their own roles and relationships here Yeah, and this is where, you know, that helps you make a choice and decision of what it is you need to do for yourself and get exactly what you want in life here and feel really grateful and happy and inspired about what's happening here for you. flipping but not jumping out here <laughs> all 
Yeah, you getting what you want here is making this person, you know, I don't know, per, on per, like purposely be delusional and run out, of, run out of options, not be realistic, or they really do not have any options with what it is that they can do with themselves. It's making them either irritated, angry, mad, you know, try to be deceptive and manipulative, or really just not care and not plan and not have any passions to do anything. Um, and just be more greedy about hanging on to like something about money, material, finances here, but not willing to really put in the work to get what they're wanting so much, so badly. It looks like you're, that's what's making this person not have love for themselves or with who they're dealing with um, and not truly be happy with whatever's going on here and make a decision for themselves. Um, and that's what's making them be, be someone here that's not, there's not much faith, there's not much hope, there's not much goals, there's nothing here, there's, they're not truly trustworthy. And they're spiraling into this deceptive energy of maybe trying to do something under occult divinatory stuff, spiritual stuff, and or just being really toxic and lazy by not really manifesting and creating things here for themselves. Yeah, and it's making them more greedy and unhappy with what they have in life and who and or who they're with. Um, it's just they just care more about image, money, wealth, greed, status. That's about it here. They're not really creating or planning with themselves. Um, once again, not too happy about their position or career path or whatever it may be. And this is where you end up realizing that, that they're not really worth it. It's not worth your time. And you just completely end it with this person here. Okay. Um, and don't deal with them any longer. You just kind of move on and move forward and do your own thing and heal from the situation and you just cut them off. Mm -hmm. And so it's making them not want to work on themselves and not really make wise choices about what it is fitting that, that they need to do here. And that's when you end up receiving good news or relaying a message or saying something or doing something here. Okay. All right. Let's see here what your closing out messages are. All right. The first one is open your heart, not just a little, all the way and let the love flow in. The other one is, do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. And the next one here is, clear your mental and physical clutter. You will also you will feel so much better. And that's basically what you're doing. You're just done, right? You're completely, you're opening your heart up to you and closing your heart up from to that person here. And really understanding and having that clarity and that awareness of knowing what is happening in the situation for you in your life, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Thank you, bye.